Garibaldi Lake parking lot. Okay, so I'm back at Garibaldi Lake. I was here yesterday. So this is gonna be my third time at Garibaldi Lake in the last week. All right, so we just got into the Garibaldi Lake parking lot and this is our second time here. The first time we came was a little bit of a disaster. We got here late, the hike took longer than we thought and the time we reached the top, we got to this crystal clear blue lake. We went swimming. It was so picturesque. I got this amazing photo, it's not photoshopped or anything like that. And the time we got back home, we realized that wasn't even Garibaldi Lake. That was lesser Garibaldi Lake. So today we're actually going to get to Garibaldi Lake. We're going to do the complete guide and review of Garibaldi Lake. So if I miss anything, you can leave it down in the comment section below. And before I start, I'll show you how to get here. So if you don't know where Garibaldi Lake is, it's about an hour and a half drive north from Vancouver, Canada. It's easily one of the most popular and visited areas along the Sea to Sky Highway. If you're ever looking up things to do in Whistler, BC, Garibaldi Lake will always appear. Without question, if you're up for an adventure and exploring British Columbia's mountains, you have to see this beautiful turquoise colored glacier fed lake. Now when you arrive at the Ruby Creek Trailhead, you'll notice a parking lot can get quite busy. You don't have to worry, everything in this park is free and even during the weekends you'll find somewhere safe to park. Just get here early because this is going to be a long day. At the start of the trail, you'll find outhouses, a map of the park, get yourself prepared before you go. All right, so it's 10.45, we just started the hike. We're gonna time this thing, see how long it takes us to get up to the top. So I'll put the clock on the bottom, or the top, or somewhere in this video, and let's go. Now, there's only one trail up to Garibaldi Lake, Panorama Ridge, Black Tusk, or the multiple camping spots in this section of Garibaldi Provincial Park. I'm gonna cover all these in this video. So if there's anything you wanted to know about any of these hike, viewpoints, or campgrounds, I'm going to cover it all in this video, but I'm telling you now, the first six kilometers up this mountain is the worst. Within the first kilometer, you'll come across this creek. If for whatever reason you're unprepared, you really shouldn't be here. Bring lots of food and water because you are in for a long day. This trail is well marked, and because everyone has to use it to get up the mountain, it can get incredibly busy. Now, since the majority of the first six kilometers has multiple switchbacks with no view, that pretty much sums up what I hate about it. Don't get me wrong, anyone can do this hike, they just need to be prepared. I've seen tons of young kids and elderly people finish this hike. Okay, I don't know if you can read the sign, but we're six kilometers in. And it's taken us exactly two hours. So not bad. We've been passed by a few people, but we passed a few people. So I think we're moderate hikers. I think we're doing pretty good, but you can judge for yourself. Just after you get past the six kilometer mark, you'll come across this fork in the road. There's another outhouse, map of the park, and a seating area. But I like to think this is where the fun begins. Keep this spot in mind for the rest of the video because I'm going to reference it later on. If you keep to your right, we'll keep going to Garibaldi Lake. Maybe only 200 meters from the split off point, you'll find yourself here at the barrier viewpoint. It's so close to the main trail, it's definitely worth a stop. And it's just a great place to rest and have a snack. If you keep going, you'll come across one of three lakes. This is Barrier Lake. It's the least impressive, and there's really not much to say here. I guess there are a few spots along the shore you can stop and hang out if that's what you want to do. The second lake is Lesser Garibaldi Lake. This is the one we mistook for Garibaldi Lake last year. But you know what? The lake looks so good, you really can get some amazing pictures just at Lesser Garibaldi Lake. It was a super memorable moment, jumping into the ice-cold glacier-fed lake. This one's honestly really beautiful. If you've never been to Garibaldi Lake, I'm telling you now, you'll probably mistake it as Garibaldi Lake too. 
Now if you keep hiking, you'll come across Garibaldi Lake. The first views you get of the lake are absolutely stunning, especially if it's a sunny day. The light reflecting off the lake is unreal. That's why it's probably considered Canada's bluest lake. Believe me, when you see Garibaldi Lake, you won't mistake it for anything else. It's really easy to see why this is such a popular and year-round attraction in Whistler and Vancouver, BC, Canada. It took us about three hours from the parking lot to Garibaldi Lake, and you can easily spend at least an hour here just enjoying the view. Also, located right on Garibaldi Lake is the Garibaldi Lake Campground. This is one of two campgrounds in the area, so if you think you can hike up your camping gear from the parking lot, you have a few different options. You really can't beat this location, and since a campground is located right on the lake, they have outhouses in the area, picnic tables, and a shelter area for anyone to use. I honestly thought the campground would seem pretty private considering how busy Garibaldi Lake can be. Okay, so I'm back at Garibaldi Lake. I was here yesterday, I'm doing the hike again. Uh, something came up, we were originally planning on going to the Panorama Ridge, which is definitely doable all in one day, Garibaldi Lake and Panorama Ridge. Anyways, you know what, we're just gonna do it, I'm gonna see how far we get and I'll time it again. <laughs> now, I don't recommend hiking Garibaldi Lake two days in a row. <laughs> oh man, it's not as fun two days in a row. Somewhere around this point, hiking the first six kilometers, I started to regret my decision to do this so soon. I'm so out of shape. This hike's gonna kill me. One thing I should mention is if you come to Garibaldi Lake, bring bug spray. Something heavy duty because the bugs out here are vicious. So I don't know how, but apparently I'm at the exact same pace as yesterday. I feel so worn out today. But apparently I'm doing pretty good, so this is good. So once again, I was at the 6 kilometer split fork in the road. This time I kept to my left. If you do, you'll eventually find yourself here at the second campsite. The Taylor Meadows Campground. I personally found this to be more centrally located than the Garibaldi Lake Campground. Especially if you're planning on hiking Black Tusk or Panorama Ridge. That being said, this is a great spot for anyone passing by to use the campground facilities if needed. The hike past Taylor Meadows Campground is generally a lot easier. It's not as steep, it offers a much different terrain, and just a very peaceful place to be. You are sort of walking in the valley between Black Tusk and Panorama Ridge. I honestly found it just to be so relaxing. All right, so I just passed the campground and it's starting to rain. It's coming down hard. Um, this is not gonna be as fun as yesterday, that's for sure. But I'm gonna keep going. I wasn't prepared. I didn't really look up the weather. It's July, so I thought it was gonna be sunny. Apparently I was wrong, so I'm gonna just keep going. As you can see, the trail's still well marked. It can get a little muddy, but it's a fun, easy section. Now, there are two more major hikes in this area. I've kind of hinted at them. So you have to decide which mountain, hike, and viewpoint you want to climb. You have Black Tusk or Panorama Ridge. We'll head off to Panorama Ridge. Yes, that's it up there between the clouds. When you do either of these two hikes, you are really weather dependent. It can change so quickly. So make sure you bring a change of clothes. It can get windy, it can get cold very quick. Now the Panorama Ridge hike overlooking Garibaldi isn't going to be for everyone. But again, I've seen people of all ages and fitness levels do this hike. Get here early though because it's a 30 kilometer round trip hike from the parking lot. The views from the top were spectacular. I was actually surprised just at how large Garibaldi Lake was. <laughs> Last time I was here, I just thought to myself, you know what, if I come here one more time, I'm going to cover all the major sightseeing points here at Garibaldi Lake. So that's what I'm doing. I realize this video is only going to get like 100 views. That's about my average. 
But if you just liked the video, it really helps. It means a lot. I think this is going to be my last time at Garibaldi Lake for this year. <laughs> All right, so I want you to look at this view. This pond right here looks like it's going right over the cliff of the mountain. It looks so sick. Can you see it? So the last major hike at Garibaldi Lake is Black Tusk. Maybe I'm saving the best for last. The mountain range is hard to miss. All right, so I'm at the bottom of Black Tusk. Let's see how long it takes me to get to this viewpoint. The hike up to the base wasn't as challenging as I thought. There were quite a few creeks, so that was nice. But at a few spots, the trail can be a little hard to find. I really had to keep my eye out on where to go, but there just didn't seem to be as many people on this trail. One thing that's really cool about this place is this is a volcano rock turned glacier. So I think I have to call it a day. The fog really came up. I was hoping it disappeared. I kept going. But, but maybe I'll show you some pictures from the internet of what it looks like.